everyone Patrick Hossa here welcome to set theory so in this video I will be defining set the properties of a set and also the real value set the set of real numbers which is divided into the set of rational and irrational numbers let's begin introduction to sets a set is a well-defined collection of objects or subjects, also known as elements. Properties of a set. An element X in a set is denoted by X, an element of S, where S is a set. If S is well-defined, an X is an element, either X is in S or X is not in S. A set S is given by a set containing an element X such that PX, where PX is a restriction condition function that need to be satisfied by X to define S. So, for every element X of S must satisfy PX for S to be a well-defined set. A subset is a set contained in another set. We say a set A is a subset of a set B if every element in A is contained in B. Either A is an improper subset of B, which is this, or A is a proper subset of B, which is this. Note that a set A will be equal to B if and only if A is an improper subset of B and B is an improper subset of A. Any non-empty set has at least two subsets, namely the empty set and the set itself, which is an improper subset. And also, if is there any other subset that will be proper? Empty set is a set with no elements or zero number of elements. So it's denoted by this. This is an empty set. And the number of elements in a set is zero since it's empty. So this is also known as the cardinality of a set. We define it by the number of elements in a set. So the absolute value of S denote the number of elements in set S is the cardinality of S, which is greater or equals to zero. If it's equals to zero, then S is actually an empty set. We define the universal set as a set containing all elements and of which all other sets are subsets. So elements in a set can either be letters or numbers. So we consider a set of real numbers as a perfect example of universal set. Real valued set is a set containing numbers as its element. So a set of real numbers is a set containing all numbers in the universe. And it is divided into a set of rational numbers and a set of irrational numbers. So the set of real numbers is denoted by this R and the set of rational numbers by Q and the set of irrational by IQ. So our set of real numbers is given by X such that X ranges from negative infinity to positive infinity where X represents all numbers in the universe. Firstly, let's define the set of rational numbers and each subset. A set of rational numbers is a set of numbers that can be expressed in form of fractions, such as integers, fractions, or decimals. A set of integers is a set consisting of negative integers, zero integer, and positive integers. So this is a set of integer denoted by Z. So it's divided into negative integers, zero integer, and positive integers. So a set of integers is defined by X, an element of integers, 
such that x is between negative infinity and positive infinity. What about a set of negative integers? It's a set defined by x an element of integer such that x is less than 0. It's denoted by z to the negative. We also define a set of positive integers as a set of natural numbers. So a set of positive integers is denoted by z to the positive, which is the same as a set of natural numbers, which is denoted by n. So it's given by x an element of integers such that x is greater than 0. Natural numbers are also known as counting or ordering numbers. A set of a zero integer is a singleton set containing only one element, which is zero. So a set of natural numbers and a set of zero integer give rise to a set of whole numbers, which is defined by n o so this is a set of whole number is given by x an element of integer such that x is greater or equals to zero lastly under subsets of integers we have a set of even numbers which is a set given x an element of integer such that x is divisible by two a set of an odd numbers is given by x an element of integers such that x is odd. We also have a set of prime numbers. Is a set given by x an element of integer such that x is only divisible by one in itself. So elements in a set of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, and so on. And a set of composite numbers is a set of a number that can be expressed as a product of two smallest positive integers, factor numbers. So elements are 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20. 4 can be written as 2 times 2, 6 as 2 times 3, 9 as 3 times 3, 10 as 5 times 2, 12 as 4 times 3, or 6 times 2, and so on. Finally, we define a set of rational numbers as a set given by x over y such that x and y are integers with no common divisor in their simplest lower form. Integers form part of rational numbers because every integer can be divided by 1. So it can be expressed in form of x over 1, where x is an integer. Fractions. We have a proper fraction and improper fraction. A proper fraction is a fraction whereby a smaller number is on top of a bigger number. So example negative 2 over 7 or 3 over 5 but improper fraction is when a bigger number is now in top of a smaller number example negative 7 over 2 or 5 over 3 so decimals terminating decimals and recurring decimals for terminating decimals 1 over 2 can be written as 0 0.5. And for recurring decimals, 1 over 3 can be written as 0 0.33333. So this shows that this 3 is recurring. Lastly, now moving to a set of irrational numbers. So this has nothing to do with rational numbers. So a set of irrational numbers is a set of numbers that cannot be expressed as fractions, but either can be only expressed in decimal or sad form. They are non-recurring and non-terminating numbers.